Hello and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. I hope you're all well. This is going to be a short video on the dawning. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm having a great time so far with the dawning. Like, it's brought a daily um, sort of bounty, I suppose, for each character. I know it's a, it doesn't take as long, probably, as I was expecting, but it is fun. And the grind is still there, at least until the dawning ends. I think January, I think that's when it finishes. So, in the meantime, you know, have fun with it. Uh, go do your schematics. You can I think it's only limited to getting a sparrow, ship, and a ghost shell. But it'd be nice for a collection at least. Now, obviously, there is some bad news for you collectors of armor, like myself out there. Because I try and collect all the armor pieces for each character because it, it gives me something to grind for, I suppose. Now, I would love all three characters to have all the dawning armor. Unfortunately, because I don't want to put money into Eververse and I don't really want to pay for any silver, there's a very limited chance I'm going to get the full set. Now, Eververse does actually sell uh, pieces of the armor. Uh, currently, she's got the chest plate and legs. I don't know if it's a daily thing that it changes. Um, I'll have to find out when I go back on it later sometime. Um, but from what I've seen so far, she's only sold the chest plate and legs. You can obtain the cloak also from doing the schematics. So there is a slight chance you can get that as well. But if you are looking for the whole set from Eververse, then you're looking to pay probably. Unless you're extremely lucky. You can only get three dawning engrams a week. Now, with the dawning only being on for three weeks, that's nine in total. So, you will have to choose wisely on which character you actually want the most. Unless you want to put a ton of silver into it. Now, obviously, the RNG and stuff like that is... I don't know about you, but it's it's quite difficult for me to get what I want. So, having nine engrams leave, doesn't leave me with a great deal of chance of getting the full set for one of my characters let alone two or three so that is unfortunate for myself and others like you that collect the armor pieces as well now with all the armor pieces as well I'm hoping that they will sort some sort of vault space out because with all the armor sets I'm collecting I'm very quickly running out of room because obviously I can't keep them in my inventory because I, I need to keep certain armor pieces for certain activities or certain um, subclasses. Now as most of you are aware I'm not a very big PvP fan however I'm absolutely loving Mayhem at the moment. I'm not loving so much the Nova Bomb glitch that people have discovered because that's a right nightmare when you're on the receiving end of it. Now when you're on obviously the giving end of it it's it's perfectly fun and fine however I don't think it's fair that it should be allowed to be used. I don't think that we should ban people from using it because that's not fair because it's obviously a, a bungee error or a, a bug error that bungee have missed somewhere. So I don't think that punishing people for doing it is, you know, acceptable. However, you know, it, it, it is kind of annoying because if you don't use a warlock in the PvP mayhem, then I feel like it's a bit of an unfair advantage. Personally, I have used my Warlock in PvP, but I've not used the Nova Bomb glitch because I don't think it's fair, to be honest. And that's just me. Obviously, not everyone is like me. People use it just just for the kills, don't they? So they can get like all the good stuff and etc. etc. But yeah, personally myself, I will not be using it because I don't think it's fair. And I don't really use cheats in games anymore, anyway. So you know what I mean? It's just it's just not fair. But people each to their own isn't it really but like I said I'm having a lot of fun with it at the moment and I don't mind going into it with a, a couple of my clan mates and just having a, a great time with it I mean I'm not awful at PvP I just don't like dying a lot but I found that in Mayhem it doesn't really matter because you're killing just as much as you are dying so it's all it's all fair really ladies and gentlemen I want to introduce you to the most OP weapon in PvE right now. That's right, it's the Snowball. I know that I for one will be 
terribly upset when this leaves the strikes because and and other activities around the world actually because it is so much fun like throwing a big snowball if you get like a precision hit it kills pretty much everything except obviously big bosses but it does blind them and slow them down but with littler enemies it kills instantly with a precision shot if you get a precision shot and there's loads of enemies around that other enemy then it obviously stuns all the others and you can just wipe them out so much easier like on the nightfall it's such a a blessing I guess having that just that extra bit of advantage on trying to get over the enemy and it's just a lot of fun and I will be sad to see it go because it, it is more powerful probably than most of my my weapons to be honest with you <laughs> like it I love it Honestly, like it's the most OP thing in PVE right now. If you don't believe me, go try it for yourself. Honestly, it's insanely fun. Now, I am upset, obviously, we're not getting faction rallies or Iron Banner until the new year, I believe. Now, this is obviously upsetting because we were supposed to have one a couple of weeks ago, I think. And obviously, they postponed it because of certain problems they were having. And obviously, that was a bit disappointing because I was looking forward to something however they have brought the dawning in and it has been a lot of fun and obviously I will be sad to see it go but I definitely think that the dawning has made Destiny 2 a little bit more replayable and worth a grind every day now it would be great if we could see daily bounties back to be honest because it just gives you a bit more of a grind a bit more of something to do each day now I was wondering where the sparrow racing was now we were told pretty much during release of destiny 2 that they would be bringing that back however we've seen no sign or any word of what's going on with this now i i do hope this comes back because that also was a lot of fun and it is a shame that it's not been brought back with the dawning just like it did in destiny 1 if anyone's got any information on this or any thoughts on you know any other activities they'd like to see I know a couple of my friends have been throwing ideas left and right and center at me at the moment and a lot of them are pretty good like I'd love to see more ideas in the comments down below and obviously you know let me know your thoughts now I did say this was gonna be a shorter video now it is bordering on 10 minutes already so I'll, I'll try and wrap this up fairly quickly so I just want to say that obviously I've been doing this channel since June now obviously I've learned so much over the last six months and obviously there's still so much for me to learn and obviously I need to get better equipment so that I can make better videos and better quality videos at least and quicker videos because at the moment the setup like I keep saying isn't very fast and it doesn't work well for me for doing updates on stuff like this now obviously in the new year I will be hoping fingers crossed to get a PC with all the equipment that I need to make quality videos for everyone now it doesn't matter to me at the moment that I don't get many views because at the end of the day I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it I'm just really enjoying it and I, I didn't actually think I would I didn't think this would be a career for me in the long run but it, it has turned out something amazing and I'm having a lot of fun uploading at least one video a week now I will try and continue this tradition next year hopefully I'll, I can try and bust out at least two or three next year each week now this will be fairly difficult but I'm hoping that I, with the right equipment this is definitely something I, I am aiming for obviously I will be trying to stream more and there's a shite ton of games coming out within probably the first quarter of next year so I will be streaming a lot of that and reviewing it and talking about it on my videos too. Now this probably will be my last video up until next year now. But I hope you have a great Christmas and a very merry new year. And I hope you take care of each other and yourselves. So please have a great time. I hope you get everything you want and don't stay up for Santa otherwise you don't get nothing. You get coal. That's what you get. Coal. Thank you so much for your, all your continued support over the last six months and I hope that we can find new friends and new adventures next year. So please take care fellow Destiny Seekers and a Merry Christmas to you all.
and to all a good night.